people buy trucks for one reason, one reason only, to haul freight. At this point in time, utilization has been extremely strong. Freight rates have gone up as a result of that. Spot market pricing is at extremely high levels. And there's optimism that things are going to continue in that same vein. Plus, the average age of trucks is as old as they've ever been. And this year is still going to be below a normal replacement year. So continuing into the early next year, the average age of the fleet is going to continue to age. People need to replace trucks. I think it will still be replacement oriented. But at this point in time, unless something further happens, uh, we're going to remain optimistic for next year in our forecast of uh, increased growth in Canada and the United States in terms of class 6, 7, and 8 retail sales uh, remain as is. Okay. And on the flip side of that, you and other truck makers are having issues with suppliers not being able to keep up with the strong demand that's out there today. How, how are you coping with that and how, how severe is the shortage of certain components? <laughs> we are managing it every single day. Uh, the challenge is it moves from component to component to component. Earlier part of this year it was tires, after, tr after treatment devices. Now it's engines, or excuse me, uh, axles. Um, it's moved to rubber floor mats. It moves to top plates on fifth wheels. So every single day we are working our way through it, managing our way through it. Have our manufacturing plants ceased production as a result of that? Yes, absolutely they have but we're working through trucks that are in offline waiting for parts. So our plants have continued to run. We have lost some production, but our plans are to make them up uh, in the latter part of calendar 2011. Okay.